You are trying to clean up your yard. Your entire neighborhood is going to be a long day for all of you. Yeah, Spring Valley Township in Greene County was hit especially hard by the storms, and some people even reported seeing a funnel cloud there. Dan Edwards is live to continue our Storm Team 2 coverage. Dan? Yeah, the little burg of Spring Valley, population 479. A little burg, but it got a big hit from Mother Nature yesterday. You see this tree down. You're going to hear from the owner here in just a couple of minutes. But uh, the fire crews are out here just kind of making sure that a lot of these down power lines that uh, we have around are okay before people come out. But uh, let's take a look at the damage here in Spring Valley from yesterday's storm. Fire chief tells us about 10 homes here in the area off of uh, Hill and Gladys streets were damaged by toppled trees and vehicles also took a hit. Uh, Pam Stump, as a matter of fact, you're in her front yard this morning. She arrived home yesterday to find that trees had taken out her garage or shed and part of the roof, but she says it could have been a lot worse. Thank God I wasn't in the driveway where the tree came up out of the roots and landed in the driveway where I would have been at that time if I would have not have st stopped at the post office. So thank God I'm alive. <laughs> That's all that matters that everybody else is okay. We've had uh, at least six people come up to us and said that they did see a funnel cloud in the sky before the storm hit. And we've had other people report that when the storm hit, they seen the clouds actually rolling like a ball across the ground. Well, the National Weather Service uh, hasn't confirmed there was a tornado. They're going to be checking into that. But uh, John Stump said he didn't want to talk on the air, but said he wouldn't mind being on the air. He's kind of coming out and surveying his uh, property this morning. As you can see, a, a visual, you say this is about a 100-year-old tree? Yeah, and about 12 to 15 feet across, and you can see the power of this storm, but it could have been, as Mr. Stump mentioned, a heck of a lot worse here this morning. So we are going to continue our coverage, go up to, uh, up to uh, Crinersville, our next report coming up here on 2 News today as we continue. I'm Dan Edwards, working for you. Well, the village of Crytersville in Auglaize County is under a state of emergency this morning. The National Weather Service is sending a crew to the area trying to figure out whether a tornado actually touched down. The mayor says the damage is extensive and crews had to rescue two people from their home when a tree fell on it, collapsing the roof. Dan Edwards will have an update for you. He'll have another update for you in the next 30 minutes. We take it now north to Russell's Point near Indian Lake. Residents are left cleaning up toppled trees throughout the lakefront neighborhood. When the storm came through, it caused trees to crash into houses and power outages throughout the county. I, well, my first comment was it's like a war zone. A lot of tree limbs, leaves. Uh, we could see our furniture being pushed across the uh, patio. I'm just glad everybody's okay. That's the important thing. Could have been much worse, it huh? Could have been much worse, yeah. A close call in Butler Township when a tree limb traps a couple in their car. If it would have been just a, a little bit more, maybe six inches more or whatever, it would have crushed the top of us, I'm afraid. It happened on Meeker Road as the pair drove home from the woman's uh, doctor appointment. Thankfully, no one was hurt. And we have more pictures and video of the storm's damage online on our website at WDTN.com.